Hello you guys, good morning and welcome back to a new video. It's Tuesday, I've already had a whole morning. Also, I still have like some sort of like chest cold going on or I don't know if it's like allergies or what, but one second I'm fine, then one second I have a cough, then one second I lose my voice, I don't know, really random. Also, I'm still <laughs> sunburnt from the other day. It's like only right there, but I guess I got a pretty gnarly sunburn for it to last this many days. It didn't even feel like it wasn't super painful or anything, but it's like just right here. Anyways, this morning I woke up early and I was totally gonna film my morning for you guys, but I was running late, which has been a common trend with me lately. I keep sleeping through all my alarms. Clearly I just need to be getting more sleep, but I think it's just like switching so many time zones, so many different times and whatnot. Um, anyways, I had a 8 a.m. Pilates class, which I did get to, but I woke up around uh, like uh, like five minutes before seven, and I have to leave at 7.30 to make those classes on time. So, and I had to feed doggy, get doggy to go to the bathroom, make myself breakfast, all that in a short period of time. But I did end up doing it, but in the hustle of the morning, I um, forgot to bring my camera. But I went to Pilates, whoa, just almost knocked my phone off the counter. <laughs> I went to Pilates, I um, came back home and showered. And now, oh, actually that's a lie. Came back home, I took Augie on a long walk, like 30, 45 minutes. Came home, showered, and I got dressed for the day. And I'm wearing something super casual, but I did feel like doing my hair, so I blew it out. And I actually I did some curls today, which I only do once in a while, but I was craving it. But, well, my outfit is super duper simple because it's that time of year in Florida where it's just too hot to wear anything. So. I'm wearing, actually both of these things are new. First time wearing both of them, but I placed an order on Skims and I have this shirt in a different color and I wear it literally all the time. So got it in black and then these shorts are from Aloe. They're just cute little white biker shorts, which I like. I like live in biker shorts during the summer here, honestly, because I don't know, especially this year where I'm struggling with not knowing my size and everything being too small just from gaining weight from being healthy, um, biker shorts are my go-to. And then obviously my Aritzia base crew socks. And I'm wearing this necklace, which you guys should know more about soon, if you know what I mean. But um, anyways, I today have a pretty chill day for the most part. Um, I'm gonna edit a vlog that I filmed yesterday and I also just have random errands to run. Augie is running low on food and usually I just order him some on Amazon, but I'm worried it won't get here by Thursday. So just in case, cause Thursday is when he goes to the sitter because I leave early Friday morning. Um, to go to Hawaii. Oh, wait, before I continue with my plans for the day, I'm considering maybe bringing him later in the day because I, I have to see what time my mom lands. But I really want my mom to meet Augie. So, actually, I have her flight info. I'm going to check it out. But, um, I, wait, let me see right now because I'm here. Mm, she lands at 7, so... I'd probably just bring him earlier. So that means I have to bring him in the morning. But anyways, um, so I need to go pick him up some food. I also placed a really exciting order, a pickup order at Williams Sonoma that I'm gonna go get today that you guys will wait and see later in the video. And it's something that I've been like, gosh, I wanna get that, I wanna get that. And then I was just like, eh, it's not worth it. And then eventually I was like, no, I really wanna get it. Um, so I placed an order last night and it should be ready for pickup today. And then, um, I am going to go get my eyebrows done at this new place because for some reason my eyebrow place is like closed this week. So I'm going to get my eyebrows done. Hopefully they come out good. They will come out good. They will. Uh, and, oh, I have to go to Sephora. I literally went to Sephora, I think in my last vlog. It was like just the other day. 
uh, but I forgot to get one of the things I needed, so I have to go back to do that. But I was gonna go run out and do it and then come home and eat lunch, but my Williams Sonoma order isn't ready yet, and the Williams Sonoma and the Sephora are at the same place, so it would be silly for me to go twice. So I think I'm gonna wait, and I guess I can start editing my vlog and eat lunch and everything. Um, but that's the plan. I'm actually very hungry because I ate so early. So maybe I'll eat an early lunch. Oh, one other thing I want to do today is I want to just run to like Publix or something, whatever's like close to whatever I do, and just get some fruit because I did like a very light grocery shop this past week, and especially with produce because I did want it to go bad since I'm only going to be eating here till Thursday. But I've been like really munching on fruit. I think it's the hot weather. So I'm going to get like grab some more fruit. Anywho, that's the plan. I'm going to sit down and edit. I really want a coffee, a second coffee, but my order at Williams Nova has to do with coffee. And I really want to wait for that. But I don't know. It could be like five o'clock by the time it's ready. So that's the thing that I'm like, Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna eat and then maybe I'll head out and we'll figure out the plan from there. Okay, guys, does anyone else's Alexa ever just like not work? Like, I swear sometimes she can't hear. <laughs> I have to like scream to her. Like, I'll literally put my face right here and I'm screaming <laughs> like a crazy person and she doesn't hear me. Or like, ever since last night, um, I she like hasn't been making noise like she'll answer my questions, but like it'll pop up on the screen but um, She won't speak out loud and it won't play music. So I just restarted it. So we'll see what's up. You don't want to eat your lunch That's a little head. <laughs> You're always in that spot, huh? All right guys super simple salad for lunch Grabbing a fork. I just did like I said, I did a super light grocery shop, so like I don't have anything crazy or exciting. Um, I did spring mix, some like coleslaw mix, like a cabbage mix, you know? Chicken sausage, mushroom, carrot, goat cheese, a couple pecans, some hemp seeds, and then I made a dressing out of oil, balsamic glaze, tahini, and a little bit of maple syrup, and then salt and pepper. And that's that, that's lunch today. Looks really good and fresh and yum. I was heading out with Audrey to take him outside before I left and there's a package at my door from Daily Drills. And I'm super duper excited because I've never had anything from them before. So, I'll open these really quick and I'll try them on later. But we first have these little silk shorts which look so cute and nice and long. I think I got most of these things in a medium. Wait, I'll tell you. Yeah, they're all medium, medium, large, medium. Um, cause I'm starting to realize like, cause I like my clothes to fit baggy. And now that I'm like, I've gained weight. If I want them to fit baggy, like how I'm used to, I need to be wearing like larges and mediums. So got these. Cute. Very cute. These look a little bit big. Ah, oh, actually, they might be a little bit big, but when I cinch them, they'll probably fit perfect. But these cute gray ones. And then Okay, I don't think this is everything I ordered because I think I got a top that maybe I didn't. Okay, I don't really love these. These might get returned. I thought I got them as a set. I'm gonna have to check, but we'll see. And then lastly, these are actually why I placed the order in the first place. I really wanted these sweatpants. Super cute. Okay, well, I'll try all those on later and decide what I wanna keep. And I'll show you guys, obviously, but do not feel like doing that right now, if I'm being honest. All right, you guys. I need to retape my mirror. <laughs> uh.
If you guys haven't been following along, actually, did I? Yeah, I must have talked about it on my tick I mean, on my YouTube, right? I don't know, but my mirror fell off my windshield. Uh, I got my windshield replaced like two months ago, and they must not have secured my mirror properly, and it fell off. And I waited and waited to get it fixed. I canceled my appointment like multiple times because stuff kept coming up and then um, I finally went yesterday to get it fixed at the dealership and they're like oh we can't fix this um, like blah 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 so I have to go back to the place that put my windshield on to get it fixed and so I'm doing that tomorrow but This is just ridiculous. But anyways, that is that. All right, so first stop is eyebrows. And then after that, I'm, I actually don't know where this place is. So depending on what's around, I'll decide my next move. I will show you guys the after of my eyebrows. Hopefully I'm not I won't be in tears. I'm gonna love it. All right, let's go. Okay, sorry if it's super loud from the AC. Good news, she didn't mess them up. Um, she was like, every time I go to a new place, they're like, your eyebrows are uneven. I'm like, yes, it's my face. And then they explain, no, the last person that did it messed them up. Um, we can fix it for you. And then everyone does it their own way. My eyebrows are just uneven and like whatever. But um, I definitely am still gonna go back to my other place that I normally go to. But I did, I'm cool with them. And like right now I don't have eyebrow gel in. So they never look as good when I don't have eyebrow gel. But this one looks the same as normal. So that's what I judge it by. Cause this one's, it's evil distant cousin. This one's a good one. Um, but I'm happy with it. She just like left a little more hair on this one than they normally do to like make them even. And I'm like, you, you don't have to do that. Like you can go ahead and just clean them up. But she insisted. Anyways, I'm at Target now. I'm going to get coffee beans and trash bags. And I'm still waiting on my Williams Sonoma order to be ready. Hmm. So, yeah, but that's where I'm at right now. Okay, you guys, I just went and picked up a coffee from Dunkin'. I got one pump of butter pecan, two pumps of blueberry and almond milk. Tastes really good. Now I'm gonna go home because it's literally, I'll show you guys the clouds. It's definitely about to downpour and I'm over it. I wanna go home. I feel as though I've been in the car forever, but look at those clouds crazy so it's three o'clock gonna go home take Augie out and then I will start editing my vlog I'm trying on my stuff from daily drills right now and first are these shorts which it's you know what it's really funny because <laughs> um, it was really hard for me to accept the fact that my size that I now am is my size in clothing but it's crazy because when you accept it and you buy the clothes that are your size, they look so cute and <laughs> are so comfy because you're not trying to squeeze into clothing that doesn't fit you. Isn't that funny how that works? Um, and I feel good about myself when, or at least better about myself, when the clothes fit me. You know, crazy. But these shorts are super cute. They're obviously staticky because um, <clears throat> they're satin, silk, whatever, but I do love them. I love where they sit on my hips. I could also technically pull them up higher if I wanted, like if I had a smaller top on or something, but I usually like to wear my pants kind of like right at my hips. I prefer lower rise things. I think that's more flattering on me, um, but love the length of these. I would even wear these to bed or to the beach, but I think they're really, really cute. Love these like this with even like a button-up shirt tucked in with 
some sneakers and like big hoops and a ponytail for like a dinner outfit would be cute. I also like how they're baggy enough to where it almost kind of pulls off as a skirt. Really like these. I think they're cute. So these are two thumbs up for me. Love these. These sit at the perfect place on my hips. I don't have these tied or anything. These just sit on me. So um, for side reference, like I said, I got medium, medium large. Like some of them are measured as like medium large. Some of them are just medium. And I got that option in all of them. You know what I mean? But I really like where these sit on my hips. I like the length. They're so comfy. They're not actually super hot. They're not furry on the inside. They're like woven, which I think is good for the summer. I like no complaints. I absolutely love these. They're so comfortable. Um, all right, we're gonna try on these purple ones next. I swore I ordered something to match this because I don't think I would have just bought this on its own. Maybe I did, but I'll try them on. We'll, we'll give it a go. Okay, hot take. Like, I would not normally buy purple shorts. And I don't even know if I meant to. I remember looking at them. But I, I don't know, I don't know why these showed up in my apartment. I swore I either got a matching set or... Anyways. But now that they're here, I, I can get down with them. I like them. They're terry cloth material, so they're kind of perfect for the summer. I can wear them to the beach and whatnot. They fit perfect. Like, I don't have many shorts that are comfy like this anymore because I outgrew them all. So, I'm going to keep them because they're, like, they're cute. I wouldn't normally go for this purple, but they're here. And I've been liking purple recently, like purple flowers and whatnot. So, I can, I can get down with it. Okay, we're doing well so far. Last thing I'm going to try on are these sweatpants. High hopes because they looked really cute on someone else so they better look cute on me <laughs> okay yay i'm so happy right now they fit exactly how i wanted them to i wanted them to be like super big and oversized but like fit excuse me <laughs> fit the hips love these obsessed with wear all of these i guess the purple sit a little bit higher but the other two shorts sit exactly where i like my pants to fit or to sit i am obsessed these are so cute and simple they just have little daily drills in the back Love the color for summer. Love. Like, I'm so happy right now. This was, like, amazing. I actually um, have been wanting to try daily drills for so long, and I just never did. And now I'm feeling inspired because I was going to edit my vlog, but I can always do that later tonight, like, when I'm sitting on the couch. And what I'm thinking is, what if I went through my closet right now? What if we did a closet clean out? Because it's literally only 3.30. And if I don't edit my vlog tonight, I'm just going to be really bored. So I feel like I wanna, well, I just want to edit it tonight after dinner. I think I want to clean out my closet. I literally just got trash bags. So it's like the perfect time. Not that I'm going to throw them away. I'm going to donate them. But I'm going to put them in trash bags. I have motivation, so we're gonna do it because I never have motivation. So let me change back into my shorts and then we're gonna do this thing. We're gonna go absolutely ham in my closet right now. We'll see how long this motivation lasts. Okay, let's get this started. I need to put my coffee down and my phone. All right, I'll show you the before because it's kind of tragic. I don't know if it's better with or without the light, but here's the before. None of that has hangers. Actually, technically two things could be hung, but I just haven't hung them. I need to go through it. So, I will check back in with you guys once I've made a little bit of progress. But I'm not going to film because I need to just hyper focus because I don't think this motivation is going to last very long. So, let me see what I can do. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I just put so much stuff in these bags. I also even went through all of these drawers and got rid of so much stuff so nice um i didn't go through my bathing suits because uh not worth it but i also didn't go through my socks because i wear pretty much all those but <clears throat> i feel so good like everything is just in a better order i kind of sort of color coded like per style if that makes sense um but yeah, everything is just 
looking much, much better. So I have little, this is just how I choose to organize my closet. I feel like everyone has their own like very niche way that they like to have their stuff organized. But um, the way I do it is these up here are like items that are they have memories attached to them or they I've had them forever and I don't want to get rid of them but I never wear them so like these are all sweatshirts and jackets and crew necks and whatnot that like have memories attached to them that I just like can't let go of but I just don't ever wear most of them are like dance or high school related things or college related things like I have my high school competition jacket and this is also, like, this jacket's from a brand deal when I shot with Michael Kors a couple years ago, and I, like, did their commercial with them and whatever. Like, that was a crazy cool experience, and, like, I don't want to throw the sweatshirt away that I got from that day, but I never wear it. So, yeah, just lots of, like, random stuff. Some, like, OG Billie Eilish merch. Like, just stuff I want to keep, and then same with these t-shirts. Like, I don't wear small t-shirts anymore. I haven't for years. Like, I don't like my t-shirts to fit tight like I once did. But these all have memories. A lot of them are from high school. They're like recital shirts, things of that nature. Or these shorts haven't fit me since I was like 15. But they're my old dance studio. And I don't want to get rid of them, you know? So I always just keep all those up there. Well, actually, I just added the shirts. They used to be hanging there. But I just never wore them. They just took up space. So I took them off the hangers. And I just um, folded them, put them up there. And then over here we have my sweatpants. They're color coordinated in my brain, okay? <laughs> I know they're not like really, but they are in my brain. But I just have my sweatpants and then I have my not jeans, not sweatpants, but pants section. There's only three of them. Jeans. And then over here I have short skirts. These shorts are just really big and bulky to put into my shorts drawer. So I have them hanging. A little midi skirt. Actually two midi skirts. And then my little active wear bodysuits, short dresses, and then I have longer dresses back there. And then down here where I never really go, I have like kind of my more unique going out type pieces and dresses that are really only for like funerals and things of that nature. Like I just have like very classic dresses that I just wouldn't wear unless it was for something like that, but that I'm going to keep just because things like that can happen, you know? Um... And then over here I have my tank tops and then t-shirts in the sense of like, or no, I guess I actually switched it. So these are just like all my t-shirts, my long sleeve t-shirts. And then going back here, I have cardigans, sweaters, and jackets. And then up here I have crewnecks on the left, hoodies on the right. And then over on this side, this is like... I have my jacket, the seven days active jacket, and then I have like quarter zips, Sherpas, zip ups, like that type of thing. Um, and then up here, I just have my hats. This is like extra jewelry, jewelry boxes from my like designer jewelry, sticky boobs, extra bra pads or whatever. And then up there is just like kind of like seasonal things like Christmas PJs and whatnot. And then over in here, um, I guess I can show you how I organize this. This one is my socks down here. These are my pretty much all my bras besides like my wire bras, but comfy bras. And then those are sports bras down here. You guys already saw those are my bikinis in here. Like I said, my wire bras, all my underwear. This is like a PJ shirt, some boxers and then PJ shorts. And then down in here, I have my like biker shorts my workout shorts and my leggings and then down in the last drawer are all my like shorts that I wear often so that is everything I'm gonna put these probably shove them in my office closet with the other bags of clothes I have <laughs> and call today but I feel so good having done that I needed to do that so very bad so you can check that off the brain list for sure what do you think is it about time for our walk I feel like for the longest time, we didn't really get excited about, like, walk outside. <laughs> um, like, food, treats, all that. You never really just get excited about. And I think it's from being at the sitter's house and being around other dogs. He now, like, responds to it a lot. All right, you guys. I'm making dinner. I'm also drinking an Olipop, the strawberry vanilla one. So good. And it's better in a fun glass. 
but I popped some cauliflower and carrot into the oven. I made buffalo cauliflower and um, I just made my own recipe like off the top of my head. So I'll let you guys know if it's good, but I am going to prepare my salmon now as well. Alrighty, so I'm going to grab a lemon and a lemon squeezer. And this is how I make my salmon. I guess you can't really see. So I get a lot of questions about how I make my salmon. I don't make it the same every way, but I every <laughs> what? I don't make it the same way every time, but I would say I make it relatively similarly. Same idea. So I always start with lemon. You want to do lemon first because otherwise, unless you do it after it's cooked, um, all the seasonings will like spill off if you don't do this until, or if you do this after the seasoning, um, which sometimes I forget. And right now I'm getting lemon chunks and I'm kind of here for it. So I'm letting those fall onto the salmon. <laughs> that doesn't normally happen, but I'm into it. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna start with some pepper. And I love the taste of pepper. And I have it like coarsely ground. So put a good amount on top of there. And then I'm taking some Malden sea salt and I'm just gonna sprinkle a pinch on there. Next, I'm gonna go in with some garlic powder and a good, a good helping of that. Then I really like to do cumin. Again, I really like the taste of cumin. Um, so do a decent amount there. Next, I'm gonna go in with some dill weed. I love putting this on pretty much everything. Parsley flakes and a little bit of Italian seasoning. Kind of making like an herb crusted salmon type vibe. And then I'm going to put some rosemary on top as well. Cause if you guys, yeah, I think I've mentioned a few times, like I've just been trying to cook with more fresh herbs and I really like the taste of rosemary when it kind of like burns and crisps up. I'm thinking today I might add a drizzle of balsamic to switch it up like so. And then I always cook it in the air fryer. That's my favorite way. So I cook it at 400 for about, depending on the size, usually about 20 minutes. And <clears throat> I find that it tends to burn in the air fryer, like the, the seasonings will burn. So I find that it cooks better if you just kind of make it a little, I'm sure you could just use another piece of foil, but I don't want to waste. I kind of just make it a little like cocoon like that. And sometimes the last like two or three minutes I'll open it depending on like what it's looking like. But it's gonna go in for about 20 minutes. All right, you guys, yum. Here's dinner, buffalo cauliflower, carrot, and salmon. And I'm a little bit annoyed right now because earlier this morning when I started vlogging, I deleted all the footage off my camera because I forgot that I had recorded an entire vlog on Sunday. And I deleted it, so. That's super frustrating, but I'm gonna edit this vlog right now up until this point, and I'll just set this to upload tomorrow, but <laughs> I'm so mad at myself, but dinner looks good.